What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I appreciate you tuning in today. We are back here outside the shop. So basically I wanted to catch you guys up with a little bit about what we've done. Uh, I came here last week and actually worked on the quarter panel on the driver's side. Got that completely sanded down. I actually did that before the last two videos I filmed. So if you guys have a keen eye, you'll notice that I actually had that quarter panel sanded in the last two videos. Uh, so today we're actually going to be working on sanding down and primering and basically fixing the front bumper. I mean, it still looks pretty good. Like, I don't know. I, I, I think it looks pretty great. Front bumper, you know, we'll knock that out today. And then we'll get the driver door here, then the bottom side skirt as well. But I mean, for the most part, it's basically done. You guys have seen this thing like a thousand times in this condition. So, you know, not too much to update on today. But by the end of this video, we're going to make some good progress, you guys. Sorry if the wind is a little bad. Um, I'm working on getting a new camera with a little microphone that sits on top. I literally have nothing as far as a microphone. I've literally been using the onboard mic on this camera for years now. So definitely got to get something um, more official in the future. But, you know, until then, this is what we're stuck with. So. You know, hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully it's not too bad. But we're just waiting a few more minutes here. Uh, they're finishing up inside and then we're going to pull the car in and get to work. So I'm super excited. This is one of the days where I'm going to learn a lot because I don't really know what to do when it comes to like fixing a front bumper. Like I kind of know how to sand it down and stuff now. But as far as like actually fixing one, it's going to be pretty cool to learn how to do it. So... The only thing holding it, pretty much, is these zip ties right here. So, yeah, they've done a pretty good job. How long do you have it? Like, zip ties? Uh, probably like a year. <laughs> some good ass zip ties right I know, here. right? You better advertise for those mobs. No, it has seriously been like a year. This side doesn't look too bad. It's pretty, you know, a Z1 Motorsport skid plate under. I can't remember if it's actually attached. Uh, oh, you stuck the rivet on it. There it is. All right guys, so we took the front bumper off and we're noticing that this skid plate down here, it's attached to the wheel wells itself. So we're thinking about just maybe zip tying it, possibly taking it off, so. Sure. All right, you guys, so we took off the front bumper here and we're basically zip tying the uh, fender liners so they don't obviously like flap around and you know rip and break while we're driving around. This right here, this is the windshield wiper fluid. And as you can tell, see if I can get some focus, there we go. It's cracked right here. I think I just need to replace this thing, but I really don't use windshield wiper fluid very often. So it's kind of like the last thing on my priority list. I mean, look where they put it. You know, it's like if you get in a front end accident, that's the first thing going, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Geez, looks so cool, you guys. I'm gonna drive it around like that for a while. I mean, this thing is gonna look like a drift missile. I have a police officer that lives next to me. Yeah. I swear, every time I leave, he's like looking out his blinds, like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. So this thing will be mm. pretty much showing where it started to go out. Oh yeah, right it's there. Right True. Yeah. Yeah, this bunch. Jeez, that yeah. looks like it took. Yeah. Well, so it was probably one, just one single time. It just hit him pretty, yeah. pretty good. Just bent she it. Wouldn't be able to take it, so that's why. Yeah. Such a stress. This side's not as bad, but over here, for sure. The next day. All right, guys, it is the next day. I ended up leaving the shop yesterday once we took the front bumper off. Um, but we're here today, we're backed in. I just wanted to show you guys what the car looks like with no front bumper on it. It looks pretty awesome, I can't lie. But uh, check this out. Check it out. It looks like we're gonna go drifting. The only thing we're missing is an angle kit. <laughs> I was looking online for new wheel wells because the wind was blowing against this one and I was actually melting it against the tire, so. As you can see, it's pretty much destroyed at this point. But um, luckily, these are only like $10 a piece for each tire. So um, I'm going to get two new front ones probably because even Efren said once we paint the entire car, the last thing we're going to want to do is put those old wheel wells on there. So the back wheels back here actually don't have any fender liners. So I'm assuming it's just because the car, the car just sits too low. Like they would rub no matter what. So I don't know if I'll order rear ones but yeah i just don't think they're gonna fit so definitely go ahead with the front ones and geez i just think this thing looks so crazy with no front bumper 
it makes me want to buy another Z just so we can have the front bumper off of it all the time and then just strictly drift it because I think that would look pretty awesome. Hey. See how it goes into oh, the yeah. plastic. Yeah. So our, our objective is to kind of feather out the paint, base coat and the clear coat, the mm -hmm. spider webbing. And sometimes it goes all the way to the plastic. But when we sand that too, the plastic is thick enough in order for us to kind of get rid of it. Okay. Yeah. I went to the plastic, but then you don't see those spider webs anymore. Okay, I see. See how you see the spider webs in the base? Yeah. I mean, on the clear coat, the base coat, which is the red, mm -hmm. and then the primer, and then you get to the plastic. Okay, and it's gone. So now it's gone. All right. So if we would have been with 320, we would have been there just it's going gone. at it. Yeah. And when you do that, you create like uh, indentations on, okay. the, on the plastics. So that just kind of. This one kind of gets rid of it a lot faster than if we were uh, yeah. 320. Okay. All right, so you guys kind of heard what Ephraim was saying. We're basically gonna take 150 grit sandpaper and just go at all these pretty gnarly scratches and just see if we can get them all to disappear. And yeah, this side's not as bad, so. Right, guys so as I sand down some of this clear you can see the cracks kind of come through so as we sand it down more and get it down to like this orange this is like the actual plastic and so the nice thing about the scratches they don't actually go that deep so we got most of them actually on this side so you can see we have some like rippling so I'm basically going through and trying to smooth it so we don't have to put much uh, bondo in I think we'll be able to do it guys so I flipped the bumper over We're basically gonna take these fog lights out looks like it's just two Phillips screws and three clips here so it should be no problem it looks so 
bare with no front lip, which is kind of crazy. But um, I also took out the reflectors, they're right over there. And, you know, for some reason, I always thought those lit up, but they don't actually, there's no electricity to them, so. But uh, basically gonna take the DA and hit the rest of it, just get all these little scratches and stuff out. Be good to go, shoot it with primer. All right, you guys, so after like, seriously been going at it for like an hour, pretty much sanded the entire thing. All this kind of like gray color is pretty much down to the plastic. And then obviously got to hand sand around some of this, but we're gonna basically hit it with scotch bright right now and get the last of this, you know, clear that I missed and then primer it. Oh yeah. Alright guys, so it is the next day. My camera actually ended up dying like right mid while we were primering. So I switched over to my phone as you guys saw for a little bit there. Seriously, I want to give a huge shout out to the shop for helping me out with this. Could not have done it without them. And now that we're actually like finally like primering the front bumper and fixing that up, in my mind it's easier to like see the vision basically come together. And, and it's pretty awesome just like to watch the whole entire process. Like I had no idea that those gnarly like black scratches that were running through the paint like who knew that you could just sand those out? Turns out those front bumpers do qu have quite a bit of plastic in them that you can sand down, so that's pretty cool. Got that all fixed, which is pretty cool. The front bumper looks great. So we'll be back there Monday, which will be the next video. We'll be putting it on, and then we'll be fixing the driver door and the side skirt down here. It should be a pretty similar process with the side skirt. We're just gonna take it off, sand it down, and hopefully uh, we won't have to use too much Bondo in it. Other than that, the car hasn't really needed any Bondo, which is pretty awesome. Um, guys, check this out, I just wanna show you. Got them out in the driveway. Pretty awesome. Anyways, that's basically where I'm going to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Go ahead and drop a thumbs up if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I do want to say just really quick before I end the video, I apologize to anyone that I upset with the clickbait in the last video. Obviously, I did not see the 400Z in a parking lot of Ralph's, but I took an entire year of Photoshop and in college, okay? Like, I got to use it a little bit. Like, geez. Anyways, I do apologize. I'm sorry if I upset some people. There were some pretty mad people. And, you know, I commented back and I replied to them. I do apologize, but I thought it was pretty funny. I thought, I thought the Photoshop was okay. You know, I didn't think it was a too good of a Photoshop, so I thought I was going to get called out, but no one really called out the bad Photoshop. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Drop a subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.